for medical professionals COVID-19 how to protect yourself by Dr. C. Raghu. COVID-19 is an RNA virus. It belongs to the family of coronaviruses hence commonly called as corona. It exists in four types. It is widely distributed all over the world. SARS and MERS viruses are similar to COVID-19. SARS and MERS caused epidemics with high mortality. Virus mutates itself constantly and how it transforms can't be predicted. It gets transmitted by the following Large droplet transmission Risk is limited to 6 feet from patient Airborne transmission is controversial It also get transmitted by Contact transmission Form it to face Person with Corona coughs virus released gets deposited on surfaces Here it can survive for a week or even more based on Corona strain Anyone touches the surface after some time and then mucosa of eyes, nose or mouth transmits infection It is important to know because even an orthopedician or gynecologist can encounter a COVID-19 patient. A patient under treatment or his attendants may have COVID-19. You are working in hospital format to face risk. You may have an inner call or government call serve the nation becoming part of COVID-19 treating teams. We can protect ourselves by regular cleaning of environmental surfaces, hand hygiene, avoidance of touching your face, wear a mask, stethoscopes and shoes also have the virus, so clean them too periodically. We can also protect ourselves by cleaning the surface with 70% ethanol and half a percent sodium hypochlorite. We need to use surgical mask which protects against large droplet transmission. Routine care in OPD recommended by WHO and Canadian guidelines. Easily available, becoming costly and difficult to obtain. We can also use N95 mask which protects against aerosol transmission. For aerosol procedure handling medical personnel, intubation, NIV, CPR, bag mask ventilation, bronchoscopy, recommended by US CDC for all medical personnel, expensive, scarce. It is recommended that we should use a surgical mask in my OPD, emergency triage and reserve N95 for airway invasive procedures. To manage a suspected COVID-19 patient travel history may not be so important as it is pandemic now. To manage a suspected COVID-19 patient, place face mask on patient. Isolate the patient to a private room or separate area. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment. For further queries, call Center for Notifying Corona Suspect Information 104. For ambulance transport for admission to public hospital call 108. To manage a suspected COVID-19 patient check him for the following Is fever present? Is respiratory illness present? To manage a suspected COVID-19 patient Contact health department to report at risk patients and their clinical status Assess need to collect specimens to test for 2019 NCOV Decide disposition Instru How to use a protective gear is clearly explained in the video link mentioned above. Protective gears that need to be used are like Avoid contact precautions by wearing waterproof gown and gloves Some sort of mask Surgical mask for OPD and triage zone and N95 mask for aerosol generating procedures Goggles or eye shield
to complete a hand hygiene we need to use hand sanitizer or soap and water. To be protected need to wear a waterproof gown. In this how to wear a surgical mask is described in 5 easy steps. To protect your eyes we need wear eye goggles or human windshield face visor. In this step the procedure to wear gloves and how to remove gloves are briefly described. Key take home messages for using personal protective equipment are as mentioned below. Pay attention to the junction between gloves and gowns. When removing PPE, always start by first applying alcohol based hand sanitizer to your gloves. After fully removing PPE, sanitize hands and wrists with alcohol based hand sanitizer again. Use gloves with extended cuffs similar to sterile surgical gloves. The gown should be tucked into the gloves, leaving no gap in between.